Are any of your lights doing anything like this? Like a, they have a mind of their own, they flash, or they just do not cooperate with what you want? It might be because you need one of these things. What is it? It's a little black piece of metal. No, it's called a Terminator. And all you do, you take your DMX light and you plug this, let's say you have the whole chain of DMX lights. On the very last light, you're going to have a DMX out, right? That's there's nothing there. So you take this plug and you simply put it in there, just like that. Then it's going to end the signal going to that light. And more importantly, it's going to keep it from reflecting backwards. And that's what's causing those lights to act all weird. So it's not your equipment and it's not your lights. It's because you simply need one of these. Let me show you what's in the inside of this thing. Very, very simple actually. It's just a simple XLR plug. You've got this little plastic thing in here. And right here is a little resistor. That's a 120 ohm resistor attached to two of the terminals. Now you can actually make one of these yourself, but I think by the time you paid for the cap and you paid for the resistor and went through all the work, uh, it would probably end up costing more than the things cost. They're under $10, worth every penny. And if you're not having any problems with your DMX lights, you will. Oh yes, you will. The more lights you add, the, big, the better chance you're going to have of some flickering and that kind of stuff going on. If you're doing a run of 100 feet or more, definitely get one of these in. The problem is a lot of people don't buy these and they don't put them in the last light and then they're doing a show and all of a sudden maybe three or four of their lights just start freaking out or they won't go on and it's too late because you don't have a plug with you. So there it is. Grab a Terminator, put it in your last DMX light and problem solved.